it's Madden NFL 23, and this one features Trevor Lawrence. As he's moved past 3,000 yards passing for the year and looking for more, it's the Jaguars and the Lions, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. The seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Today, we've got a Week 13 matchup for you here between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. It's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. And they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think. They know they've got the entire offseason to rest. All they care about is the game in front of them and finishing strong. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jaguars, things haven't gone exactly according to plan to this point. But boy, you and I down there with them before the game, they were fired up. And they understand how important this game is. Win this one, they can start to think about a turnaround. Williams. We'll take this one in. It's a Lions touchdown. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And Brandon, that's good complimentary football. And that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. The throw is gone. And he's got it. Touchdown. DeAndre Swift with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Lions will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. That's just how they do it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Trail by two scores in the fourth, and their defense did its job getting the fumble recovery. And they're going to sack him again. The fifth time they've gotten him today, and this one results in a safety. Well, there is still time to recover from this. It remains a two-score game even with the two points there, but let's just say things not trending in the right direction. I like that phrase. I'm going to say it along with you to cure a victory. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he takes this one in for the Lions touchdown. Jamal Williams, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Lions add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. On second and goal, Lawrence. And Charles, a very simple mission anytime that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf. And today, that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, the mission for the season, defend our home field every time, split on the road, and we'll be in the playoffs. That's why defending the home field is vital. So for the Lions, the streak continues as they push their mark to a perfect 12-0 now on the year. And they'll get to stay home again next week as the Minnesota Vikings come to town. Meanwhile, for the Jaguars, this season is beyond salvage now as they fall to 2-0.